In my example today, we're going to be adding an echo to this hiker's footsteps in this cave. Now to do this, I need to go up to Audio Track Mixer. I can do this by going up to Window, going down to Audio Track Mixer and selecting the sequence I'm currently in. Once I'm in here, I want to toggle onto this little arrow right here. I then need to come down to Reverb and then select Studio Reverb. We then need to double click into the Studio Reverb settings. Within here, I'm going to customize the room size, the decay and the early reflections. The higher these numbers are, the more intense your echo will be. You can play back your audio while you're testing out different parameters. For this example, I'm going to leave mine as that. I'm going to click out of here. Now because I have audio on two different tracks, I'm just simply going to drag and drop this onto the second track and play back my audio with the echo or reverb on my audio clip. Now because we've added this effect to the audio track itself, any audio that we place on these two tracks now will also have that echo on it. So if you have any sound clips in your project that you don't want to include the echo, I'd suggest you put it on a different track. And that's all there is to it.